Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Give me a call if you want trading ideas for today on 781-380-8888. As predicted, gold has gone down about 10% from its uh, previous high, trading around 17 and a quarter, uh, 1727 I believe uh, right now in the New York trade. Uh, we see this as a good solid retrenchment. If you've been following our trading strategies, either you've made a pile of money or you've protected yourself. If, I, if you haven't followed our straight trading strategies, well, good luck. Um, we see gold holding in this 1650 to 1720 range. Uh, we expect gold to drive upward in the near future uh, because this is a demand season. <clears throat> we want to point out something about demand, and usually we talk about India. Uh, and China. We need to also talk about Vietnam, Indonesia, South Korea, and Thailand. In all of these countries, the purchase of jewelry is not simply for adornment. Uh, it's for the acquisition of gold. And so we need to keep in mind that this demand, which will start in about a week and go through the end of the year for our, for our own Western European and American holidays, will produce a very desired result, an increase in demand at a time when supply is weakening in gold. Uh, secondly, uh, the recent decline over the last 48 hours in gold will have the desired effect of shaking out speculators and people who are not serious investors. And so this will cleanse the market, as it were, of uh, this kind of trading, uh, day trading kind of person and uh, get the market back on its sound fundamental basis, people who are buying gold because they see the direction. I wish to point out to you another factoid uh, that uh, was uncovered by some smart guy and not at Waters Capital, uh, is that if we look at the pre-7980 levels of gold, in other words, what was gold trading at in 1979-80, and we change that factor into inflation, we add inflation in that, Gold ought to be selling at $10,000 today. Keep that in mind. That's from the gold stock analyst. Um, lastly, we want to point out one of our exciting elements as we look to the North Country. We're always talking about rare earths in Canada and what's available there. And it turns out that the Yukon is starting to see a gold rush. So remember those wild and woolly days and the Royal Canadian Mounted Police and all that sort of thing. We'll be talking about the Yukon gold rush more. So aim for the ice flows. Keep your faith in gold. Keep thinking about what's really going to happen in the next four or five days uh, at Jackson Hole and see if that's going to solve our problems. And maybe after Labor Day, ha, 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 when all the mucky mucks come back to work, we'll see some dramatic upward movements. This is not, when I say dramatic upward movements, I'm being facetious. I see the U.S. stock market being in a doldrum. I see the U.S. economy struggling along, but doing better than most other world economies. And uh, so we're going to be in a protracted period of uh, boring sideways movement. Arnie Waters, aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Have a great